Hi, this is Bitluni and today we're gonna take a first look on the ESBI dev kit. Look what I got today. Uh, this should be Espressive. Who sent this to me is uh, Jeroen Domberg, um, who is known as SpriteTM and he's working for Espressive. And let's take a look inside what it is. That's a letter. John Lee, thanks for the wishes. ESPI, um, I already read and saw some uh, pictures um, on Twitter already, so I'm not the first one to receive it. And I am really curious how that works, since I have worked with cameras before. Oh, this is tiny. Just take a look at this. So, this is a two megapixel camera this off here yes a microphone on the other side the ESP32 and button and yeah it seems like um, Espressive has worked on AI capabilities or let's say um, face recognition and voice recognition and I saw already um, the layers the stack of the um, API um, I, I don't know exactly where, it's, it might be on Twitter already, the announcements were there and I'm curious, this uh, should be pre-programmed and I will just hook it up and see how it works. Before we get started, the project for the face recognition is called ESPWho and can be found along with some instructions in a Git repository. This works with the Espressive IDF and allows to develop all sorts of face recognition projects. The example here has the simple state machine. It uses a simple voice command to wake up. After its wake, it can be accessed over Wi-Fi. I will use the access point it's providing. But you could also let it connect with your Wi-Fi. After that, the face recognition should start and allow us to program in some additional faces. The example voice command to wake up used here is Hi Lexin. This diagram shows how a face is added. But let's simply try it. If you need some debug information, you can use any kind of serial terminal. It shows what to say to wake it up and also the IP later. Hi Lexin! Now it's active and waiting for a client to connect to the web interface. I connect to the access point and load the page FaceStream. The picture is only 320 by 240. So we zoom in a bit using the browser. The recognition is detecting my face. It looks like OpenCV. The detection is quite basic. It seems not to detect tilted faces. The frame rate is quite low, something like 2 frames per second. You got the impression of the actual speed. I will speed up the video from here. When I press the button on the side of the board, my face is stored for recognition. It takes 3 samples and assigns the ID 0 to my face. Ok, let's try another face. That is not recognized at all, so you can't troll it with a simple hand drawing. Let's use another face. It has a hard time, but it's able to store it as ID1. It's now able to distinguish between me and the success kit. That's a success for the success kit. Let's try another one. That one crashed while sampling. Seems to be impossible. <laughs> Nevertheless, I think this kit is really awesome. And I think I will try to make some projects with it. If you like to see more on the ESP32 using cameras, I did a complete series on that topic a year ago. Meanwhile, I'm reworking my I2S drivers for the ESP32. And there should be an update coming up next. If you don't want to miss it, subscribe and tune in again. Bye!